What's going on sluts and do not be offended because slut stands for sexy ladies under the sun. My name is Max, otherwise known as doing it for her or DIFH to make it short and how the fuck are you guys doing? Today what I'm going to be talking about is Batista, David Batista, former, you know, multiple time world heavyweight champion over there in WWE, you know, the wrestling world. But before I get into that, you know, I got a lot of subscribers that are on my friends list on Xbox Live and they always see me playing WWE 12 and they're saying, hey, Max, why don't you upload some WWE 12? Like, I get that message maybe once a week, so... Uh, if you guys would like to see some WWE 12 from me again, post it in the comments below. If not, if you're some strict uh, MMA fans and you just can't stand wrestling, I understand that, and you don't want you know wrestling on this channel again, just say that also in the comments because I'll understand, man. Because I know how some of you guys are because uh, you take your MMA really, really seriously, and you consider you know wrestling the fake shit. So I know you guys are coming from as an uh, as a fan of MMA and a fan of wrestling. Sorry, um, I know where both sides come from, but. I'm a fan of both, so yeah. But man, I thought it would be a good idea to do the W12 video because since so many people wanted me to do it again, and David Batista being in the game, I thought it would be a great way to, you know, do this commentary, but I just decided to throw this player match on here because I had this sitting on my computer, and this is a pretty uh, decent fight. I am Cub Swanson, and he is Mark Kominick, and this fight's pretty, pretty decent. He uh, kind of gets the advantage of me going into the end of this round, and then I kind of come back pretty nicely, so I hope you guys enjoy it, but... David Batista setting his um, uh, MMA debut on October 9th in a Dunkin' Donuts theater somewhere. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's going to be live on pay-per-view, actually. I don't know. He's facing some dude named Rashid Evans or something, not to be confused with Rashad Evans. I'm not sure how that goes. Um, I just read it, and it said not to be confused with Rashad Evans, so I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the dude's name right. So, um... If you know, be sure to post it in the comment below to uh, correct me, so sorry if I'm wrong. But man, he was supposed to debut in 2010. He's been training, you know, MMA for quite, quite, quite a long time. Like, he was heavily into it in the end of his WWE run, and uh, he talked about it multiple times in interviews, and he said, like, it's a hobby of his, and, you know, he trains it and stuff. There's also other guys in WWE that just train it, you know. You don't got to be an actual, you know, cage fighter just to do MMA, so Batista was one of those guys. And fucking, he left WWE, and then in 2010 he was going to make his Strikeforce debut, but his de uh, deal, excuse me, I'm all tongue-tied again. When well, I got a lot to talk about, that's how I get, and then I don't like constantly redoing the commentary, so you get some fuck-ups in my, my videos, so I hope you guys are cool with that. I'm a natural guy, everybody fucks up, damn it. But, uh, Batista was set to debut in Strikeforce in 2010 against, like, unknown opponents, and he was calling out Bobby Lashley, a former, you know, another WWE superstar that he worked with and stuff. And he was saying Lashley's stand-up was shit and he could destroy him. And yeah, man, he was working with the Caesar Gracie team back in 2010, training with Jake Shields and stuff. And now he's working with another Gracie team. I don't know where at and I don't know which Gracie. I can't confirm that. Once again, if you know the facts, post them in the comments below. And now uh, the, the, that, de that deal fell short, like I talked about a bit ago. And now... Finally, two years later, he'll be making his debut. I'm actually kind of pumped for this. I know a lot of people hate when people cross over into the MMA world and stuff like that, but I think Batista, I know he's 43 years old. That's another thing. For those of you that don't know this dude, check him out. He's a big, jacked-up, you know, Greek motherfucker. He's huge, full of tattoos, you know, typical MMA fighter-looking motherfucker. He's 6'6 and 290 pounds. Like, that's how he walks around. This dude is jacked as shit. And, uh... I think he can actually be a really good heavyweight um, against certain people. He's been training for a long time, so I don't doubt his abilities. And, you know, Brock Lesnar, I think he's trained, you know, just about the same amount of time Lesnar trained before Lesnar got into it and had his first fight, in, you know, in that Japan card. So I actually think he can do all right. The only thing I, I'm kind of scared about, like, him sucking and stuff, is him being 43 years old. That's a terrible age to get into mixed martial arts, especially in this day and age with all this crazy new breed and hybrid talent. So, I'm actually confident in all his skills, and he keeps saying, like, he can destroy some guys, and his stand-up and ground game isn't that bad, and I don't know, man, I'm actually really excited, so let me know what you guys think about it down below, do you think the age factor will just overall take over everything, and he'll, he just uh, will be a, a big flop in, in the octagon, so... I don't know, and if you think he'll ever go into the UFC, be sure to let me know as well. I really don't see it happening. 
I see him maybe winning this first fight, maybe winning a couple more and some, you know, bullshit promotions, and then maybe getting a, a decent caliber fight, maybe in Strike Force again. I doubt it with it being owned by, you know, Zufa and UFC. Uh, so I don't know how that'll go because I don't think Dana White really likes him and stuff like that or a lot of people back there don't like him But if you ever think he'll make it to the UFC me uh, be sure to post in the comments below because I'm curious on your guys opinions I like to interact with you guys So let's start a cool debate in the comments section below I'll reply and talk to some of you So how do you feel about this guy coming and like I said if you don't know who he is be sure to look him up on Google man Google images He's a pig jacked motherfucker, so if you think he'll be a beast post in the comments below and leave a like this video and I was happy to bring you this news. Until next time, peace, guys.